Good evening everyone. In this video let's ask playing cards. Will they leave their unhappy marriage? Someone asked this question. So let's have a look. I have five playing card decks in front of me. Number one, two, three, four and five. If you'd like to have this reading please think of a person and choose a deck. And take your time please. Have you chosen? So let's have a look. Will this person leave their marriage? Sometimes people lie that the marriage is unhappy, but you know, to. So let's have a look. Is it really unhappy? Okay, yeah. In this case, it isn't happy. Marriage and uh, because we have spades, the person is really tired of the situation at home, perhaps. Uh, I don't think they will leave their unhappy marriage. They would rather maybe uh, search uh, some sort of solution. They might go for counseling or something like that with these cards. They might want to work this out. Even if it's unhappy right now, maybe they are, uh, how to say, they're the sort of person who want to um, solve things, you know, to make it better, work things out, research, do something about this, maybe... Uh, talk to the counselor, things like that. And it also shows here uh, <clears throat> someone not investing enough in the marriage, maybe, uh, you know, not trying enough to, to make the marriage work, you know, things like that. And I feel like this person is just, uh, they are just speaking. To be honest, they're just complaining, speaking, they are sick of it, they are tired of it, and their head is hurting or something like that. But they probably, I'm not sure they're serious with these cards. Uh, they might, one day they feel like leaving, the other day they don't feel like leaving, you know, they just complain and talk and and this and that. But I don't think they will seriously leave the marriage. Okay. Yeah, and this is advice for you regarding this person. It's the five of spades. It's the card of um, well, you maybe it's better if um, how to say it's uh, saying that perhaps this person that you're with you're hoping that he will probably come to you you know for a serious relationship I think you should not um, well this card is a lost card it's like five of swords and tarot it's basically saying that you probably should leave him or basically um, or basically discontinue the relationship because he might not be serious when he's saying that his marriage is unhappy and he's serious about leaving. Maybe he's unhappy, but he will not seriously leave it. I think he's a person of a mood. Um, so yeah, that's it. Let's move on to the deck number two now. Will this person leave their unhappy marriage? Wow. 
Interesting. Maybe they are the couple, they are the married couple. You know, the Queen of Spades and the King of Spades. Um, maybe they are older people, maybe they are immigrants or something. No, this person will not leave their marriage. This card can indicate that it's been a long time these people have been married. Um, maybe like 10 years, 20 years, like 15 years, something like that. And they can't just leave it. And here I think again, either they're not telling the whole truth or there are some sort of financial issues or the person also wants to <clears throat> seek some help from somebody regarding their marriage. You know, maybe there's more that relates th these two people, not only like maybe they are already not lovers, but maybe they're business partners or something like that. An advice for you? Well, this card also says, um, in, it doesn't advise basically to wait for this person. It says that this person will probably not return to you for a long-term relationship. Probably they will not marry you. They will not leave their other person, um, a spouse, you know, to, to come and marry. Because this card is also like seven, uh, like six of swords. It's a card of separation, it's a card of distance, it's a card of, you know, being away from each other. So I think this also might tell, you know, you, uh, there is not, not much to wait from this. So yeah, that's it. Let's move on to the deck number three. This is deck number three, and um, the question is, will this person leave their unhappy marriage? Okay, this shows really unhappy marriage and again this person will not leave the marriage um, they will not leave or they will partially leave something like that it shows really really difficult situation depression and maybe secrets you know stuff like that at home it can be something that the the two people are going through something very very difficult, you know. Right now, um, I don't know. Maybe someone even passed in the family. You know, these so many difficult cards. Um, maybe they're dealing with some sort of trauma. You know, that sort of thing. Maybe that's why they're unhappy. Sometimes it affects relationships. Always probably affects relationships. Now, here it says they will not leave, they feel responsibility towards that person, they feel like the, you know, the bonds with that person, they're not, they cannot leave. Um, this is them and their spouse, and uh, I feel that they have, like, some sort of inner dependency on them, like they cannot just leave them. And uh, here we see, you know, the, I don't know, maybe this is you, the young person, interested in the love relationship with this person. And uh, it also shows a card of distance, separation, and moving, moving on. So I don't know if this is you, who is interested in this uh, relationship with this person, and who is moving away like a young person, yeah, dynamic, very energetic, very ambitious, uh, active, confident, etc. Sometimes it can be that they have a child that has moved away and because of the child they need to stay or something like that. 
maybe the child went for work or maybe the child uh, I don't know uh, something like they have maybe have a problem with the child the other meaning can be maybe that um, well it gives basically more information these two cards and we see a young person which is very important in this but something like this person is gone or this person has went away or this person is from the past something like that but this person wants a relationship this person is interested well this card can also talk about children and they stay in because of children maybe they have two children and they need to stay in the married because of children so it's not that simple basically there are many responsibilities lots of something holding them okay and uh, maybe the person is afraid to leave you know they're afraid to leave because the um, these cards can also mean fear and you know like they're paralyzed by fear you know what will happen if I leave stuff like that okay so let's have a look at the advice for you maybe that will uh, help us to see the situation Okay, four of clubs can talk about you actually keeping in touch with this person um, sending messages talking to this person Sometimes this card, well, it can mean a car. So it's a movement in a way. Just move on. In a way, let's pull one more card, whether this is messages or whether this is a car. Advice. Yeah. I think it's talking possibly about uh, electronic communication with that person. Like you still can keep in touch with them something like that so in this case they're not saying move on advice they're not saying move on they're saying maybe have the hope for this love still because this is love card and this is the like electronic messages like even YouTube videos sometimes can be can be uh, video chats can be uh, Facebook etc and this I think it can advise for you to still keep in touch with that person and keep your relationship intact so for some reason it's saying that in this case that don't move on okay now let's move on and have a look at the deck number four This is deck number four. And let's ask, um, will this person leave their unhappy marriage? Will this person leave their unhappy marriage? Let's have a look. So we have, okay, we have King of Diamonds. Well, diamonds is money, so we see that situation is quite financial. If it's not financial, it can mean that it's the the per you're expecting this person, you're waiting for this person, and this person also will not leave their marriage <clears throat> because we have a black card here. Um. Wow, so many people. So now we have. Okay, I I imagine that uh, the situation is that you work with this person, or you know the person through some sort of financial interaction service or whatever, and uh, maybe there has been some feelings while at work or while uh, during the professional, you know relationship and you're kind of waiting for this person like um, 
expecting this person maybe to return or to call back or to come back or, or you know be with you because you've spent quite a while with him and you expect uh, something in return like you invested in this relationship it can be that um now it shows that uh, the person is basically they have a wife well definitely and I don't know maybe they talk bad about the wife because the wife is shown as a queen of spades so as a negative woman um, but uh, whatever the reason is I, I don't think they will leave their wife although she is maybe they talk about her not nicely I don't know Maybe she's not well, maybe she is uh, ir irritated always, maybe she is like <clears throat> negative or something, but um, I think they love her because they are shown as the heart king, king of hearts. And uh, and also we, we see a jack, which can be a child, They're the child that they have. It can also be you who is interested in this man and this card shows that you should just keep the work relationship with this person. You should not expect anything more, just in case you're working. If not, maybe it's saying that you still can, you know, work out something with this person or discuss some, some things, maybe after discussion you'll feel better. So something can be done here to, like, neutralize the situation, make it better, you know, than it is. And what is advice for you, actually? Well, Six of Spades, again, is just uh, moving on. Again, maybe it's not worth waiting. Maybe they'll never leave their wife. You know, maybe they're promising. Maybe they're saying. But you can also say that this is just, uh, you know, it's better to keep this professional or something like that. Neutral, professional. Maybe it's better for you in the longer run. And maybe they'll never do it and you'll end up waiting 10 years and they'll never do it. So... Yeah, and this card says it. Okay, so let's move on now uh, and have a look at the reading at the deck number five. Okay, this is deck number five. <clears throat> and we'll ask whether this person will leave their unhappy marriage. I don't know, maybe this is saying about uh, that the person is not uh, calling you, you haven't seen, no, they will not leave their marriage again. In this situation, we see that, okay, maybe he's the rich person uh, with these cards, maybe the person hasn't been replying to you with these cards, they haven't been in touch and you are maybe doubting or wondering what's happening with this card. It can also maybe talk that the person is a doctor or something like that, you know, like a doctor and the uh, having this job as a doctor, maybe. But um, there's dissatisfaction with the relationship right now between you and this guy. I think there's no communication. And uh, I think they will not leave their wife. Maybe because they don't want to leave their money, their business or something that they've made. Maybe... Um, it's interesting because, like, maybe they have a very stable, some sort of connection with each other, wife and husband, not maybe emotionally, but financially. Like, they have a common business, maybe they have, like, assets, some sort of assets, you know, and uh, because of finances, because of money, they will not want to leave their wife, 
maybe because the wars is so expensive or maybe because uh, well it's more comfortable not to divorce you know so it can be uh, financial things you know as a reason of why maybe they also they don't do not really care you know if relationship is not that good with wife because they're focusing on their business a lot uh, they're focusing on their other things in our life and they kind of feel that uh, it's not you know they're okay with that you know with whatever it is mm, at home okay let's have a look what is advice for you here wow ace of spades well this card well it can be this is over this is over the other meaning can be that basically it can talk about a very deep, um, deep and painful love relationship here. Like you always in your mind, you, it's always like it's not leaving you alone. It's you're like obsessed over this person. Um, like it's the love that is not returned to you back. So definitely, it can indicate uh, that you're kind of gone overboard with your thoughts about this person it's like maybe the moon card in tarot you know use of space can be love relationships like uh, a crush or a very very difficult love affair or imaginative love affair or one-sided feelings you know things like that and it just can show that uh, it's getting serious you know for you and you have to really think about your mental health in this situation i mean i'm sorry i'm saying that but this is how i read for myself you know also i'm, I'm saying these cards um so again What is it? maybe he has not been sending you the messages, hasn't been sending you the letters. Maybe it's like he disappeared or something. Um, and there is lots of um, stress, you know, mental stress over the situation. So perhaps it's saying just um, it's too, it's gone too, too uh, deep, you know, with this relationship. And I think it's not uh, going to get better so maybe it's better for you to you know just know that it's basically not gonna get better um, because it can be a very uh, unlucky love affair you know like crush and uh, you should consider changing your thoughts about this person consider change the way you see this person this relationship this situation and uh, maybe get out of your get out of inside of your head you know it can be depression it can be things like that and sometimes you just need to have some will power because this card can also mean decision maybe make up your mind and tell yourself that you know you are strong and you can do this and basically maybe move on from this person because they're not leaving their wife because of money and because of whatever reason they have they seem like a practical person and uh, if they hurt you if this relationship hurts you mentally emotionally physically it's like a torture if it's like a torture then it's better you know to distance yourself from this situation somehow yeah Okay, what's happening? I asked here. Maybe things are not working out, but the love is there, family is there, etc. 
well, I don't know if it's a secret love affair or something, you can just... Mm, something very deep and secret and like depression. So, I'm not getting this, uh, what's really happening. Uh, some sort of a uh, very intensive relationship uh, that is changing our life and love can be involved, family, home can involve, etc, etc. But uh, I think like if you talk to them, if you send them the letter, they would not be so happy here. Or maybe you can send them a formal letter and talk in formal way and maybe that's going to be better rather than telling them something, how you feel um, through that perspective. Because I'm saying this because it seems to me like it hasn't started this relationship or something. Okay, yeah, that's it for today. These were the five readings. Please comment in the comments, share, share your opinion about this. Was it accurate? Was it not accurate? Um, again, sorry for um, delivering the bad news. The five readings were like negative again because um, I don't know, maybe usually they don't leave their wives, you know, for the, you know, their other love interests. Maybe it's not very realistic or maybe a majority don't do that. I'm not sure. But in this case, today, the cards were kind of negative, showing that they will not leave the person, um, the unhappy marriage, basically, for different reasons. Or maybe not at the moment, yeah? Maybe we should try this later. So, thank you for watching my video, and I hope to see you next time. Have a great night. Please like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, and subscribe if you want more of these. Bye-bye.